What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on MMTLP stock. And first of all guys, uh, Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy Holidays. Uh, and on today's video I will show you that we have a lot of odd things uh, that are happening right now. And I will show you the latest news uh, that might be very useful to understand uh, where we are now with the MMTLP and FINRA saga. And uh, let's start uh, with John Burda. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he is a former CEO of uh, Torchlight Energy, the pre predecessor of uh, NextBridge Hydrocarbons. And uh, he posted just several tweets. Uh, first of all, it's not uh, so interesting for us. It is just a screenshot uh, of uh, some person who tries to pay more attention to FINRA fraud, as you can see right here. But the most important uh, tweet that he published uh, is this one. And he said, great question, I was under impression that uh, TD was not uh, lending out shares, at least that is uh, what they have been telling others. And uh, he retweeted uh, a tweet from MTLP Matters and uh, he posted this. So tell me how the shorts can close uh, position when this isn't tradable. Up until yesterday I was receiving interest on shares stuck lent out. Today they are gone. What is going on with TD Ameritrade? Give us uh, our shares and our money. And uh, he also po posted two pictures. On the first picture you can see that uh, uh, this person was receiving about $28.82 uh, daily as an interest uh, for the lending of MMTLP shares. But the next uh, uh, screenshot shows that <laughs> he doesn't have uh, these shares right now and uh, basically these shares magically disappear. And it is not the only uh, odd thing that is happening right now. Uh, let me show you that uh, we have uh, two filings of trading halts uh, of uh, MMTLP stock. Uh, that was with the halt code of U3 and it is MMTLP symbol. But why we have two of them right now? Previously, let me show you my previous video. As you can see, we had only one filing on the same page of FINRA. And definitely it is also very odd. On top of that, let me show you the Jerk Store Twitter account. And he posted this. It originally had two separate entries when it went uh, caveat emptor as well, followed by one being removed and one stain. Almost as if there were two MMTLPs on the OTC. Very odd. And here is the screenshot of uh, several MMTLP filings as well. And uh, one of them was removed, as you can see right here. And uh, why it is happening right now? Basically, I don't know. And it is very, very odd to see this type of activity right before the Christmas holidays. On top of that, let me show you another quite uh, odd thing. Uh, Mordek the meta guy published this. Users a heads up. And uh, here is the screenshot uh, of a, a potential fidelity assistant answer. And uh, let me quote you this. This spin-off wasn't for NBH. It was for a company called Next Bridge. Next Bridge is filing at the moment to be able to trade. But as of right now, they are not. As uh, for when they will be distributed, I am still trying to find the date. So, will next bridge hydrocarbon stock uh, be tradable in the uh, upcoming year or not? It is uh, another odd thing that is uh, happening right now because uh, next bridge hydrocarbons is a private company that shouldn't be tradable on OTC or on any other markets. And uh, I have to say that uh, it is not the first time when shares shouldn't be tradable. Previous case uh, was uh, with MMTLP shares uh, that uh, was distributed as a dividend stock, uh, preferred uh, Series A shares uh, of uh, Meta Materials. But uh, for some reasons uh, it became tradable. And it was also very odd and uh, we don't have answers why it happened. So, and let me show you another news that might be quite interesting. Rosa Tawil published uh, this uh, on December 23rd and she wrote, in my lawsuit against FINRA, George Hinkle provided an order requesting an affidavit of service on the defendant and requesting that I stop calling his office for hearing. <laughs> affidavit of service was filed. Still waiting for a substantive hearing not based on procedure. And uh, what does it mean? Uh, she added that uh, the 
George said uh, he may not require a hearing. And definitely, it also might be quite odd. So, and uh, for those of you who are new in this saga, yeah, and if you don't know what is happening right now, let me just uh, give you this link. It is uh, the full 38-page uh, uh, report that uh, is basically a summary of entire saga. And in a couple of words, uh, I have to say that uh, the key point of uh, this uh, story is that more than 65,000 uh, retail investors were stuck in MMTLP share when the FINRA halted its trading. And it could be not so serious, uh, but on the other hand, during the latest trading days of MMTLP shares, this share was heavily shorted uh, with the syn synthetic shares. And when trading activity was halted, a lot of synthetic shares remain on the market and uh, this uh, leads to the situation when a lot of uh, people cannot receive uh, their next bridge hydrocarbon shares because uh, the total amount of uh, new shares uh, is uh, about 165.5 uh, million shares. But the total number of uh, MMTLP shares uh, that uh, were on the market is unknown, but uh, it might be up to two times higher than the real shares. And this means uh, a lot of uh, people might not receive uh, their next bridge hydrocarbon shares and definitely this leads uh, to violation of a lot of uh, rules and laws. And that's why we have to see the truth from FINRA, why did they stop trading and why FINRA and SEC allow hedge funds to short uh, certain stocks uh, with the naked shorts. And definitely, it should be investigated in order to prevent and in order to protect uh, retail investors from the fraudulent activity. So, I think uh, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the thrown back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thought of this Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah